today in court, a victim's advocate sat with her arm around the woman who trembled and cried at the sight of Minna German. The prosecutor read a statement on her behalf explaining how the ordeal has left her scarred mentally and emotionally. I have become a prisoner in my own home. I am always looking over my shoulder and jumping at strange noises, always wondering if somebody is there. As her statement was read aloud, the 57-year-old victim who asked that her face not be shown sat in the front row, clearly emotional and barely able to look at Max Mena German, the man convicted of breaking into the home she was in, tying up her and a man and assaulting them. The home invasion happened in Hampstead in July of 2011, but the woman says the memories of that day are still very clear. It is hard telling you every detail without breaking down. Court paperwork says Mena German and his accomplices cased the Hampstead home for days leading up to the burglary, even posing as landscapers at one point and knocking on the door. They were interested in the homeowner's guns, but when they got inside, it became violent. The homeowner did not attend the sentencing, but also prepared a statement saying the malicious crime has caused him to lose his trust in people. I was stalked, bound up, beaten, tortured, threatened with death, and believed that this person, person should be incarcerated for the maximum time allowed by law. The judge did just that, sentencing men a German to 20 to 40 years, calling his behavior shocking. And I hope that the sentences that are imposed in this case send a message that this court and this state do not tolerate the kind of conduct you engaged in here. Now, the defense did ask that Mena German get paper copies of the discovery material in his case, but the judge said given his witness tampering conviction, it wasn't appropriate. One other man has been convicted in this home invasion, and two others have trials this year. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.